Now, another thing that these green ambassadors were getting involved with is composting food in their cafeterias. Now, here's some food for thought. Every year, humans waste over 1.3 billion tons of food. Some estimates put that number as high as 2 billion tons. That means that between 30 and 50 percent of all food grown on the planet never gets consumed. So, for every one piece of food that someone eats, another piece gets thrown away. But what happens to that wasted food? Well, in the United States, 97 percent of it goes to a landfill, along with a bunch of other trash. Once it's in the landfill, it just sits there. To accommodate all of this waste, there are about 3,000 active landfills and 10,000 inactive landfills in the United States alone, the largest of which measures 700 acres. If all landfills were that size, the United States would contain 9.1 million acres of landfills, which is enough to fill up Massachusetts twice. Going back to the food waste in landfills, it does eventually break down. However, because it's without oxygen, the food releases methane, a greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trap heat from the sun in what is known as the greenhouse effect. This is a widely accepted cause of global warming. If all 1.3 billion tons of food waste were put in a landfill instead of being allowed to naturally decompose, the amount of greenhouse gases released would be enough to fill up almost 40 trillion 12-inch balloons. If you lined up all 40 trillion of those balloons end to end, they would stretch from the earth to the sun 81 times. In 2009, landfills were responsible for 17% of all methane emissions in the United States. In other words, while the food waste is able to decompose in landfills, it's pretty bad for the environment. Now let's talk about the other 3% of food waste that doesn't end up in a landfill. Where does that go? It gets composted. Composting is a process in which nutrients are returned to the soil through decomposition of organic matter. Basically, food, yard waste, and other biodegradable material is mixed with soil in a compost pile. Then, existing microorganisms and bacteria break down the food into its basic organic molecules, which can be used as nutrients for plants. This process is called decomposition, and basically it recycles nutrients. The final product of this process is called compost, and is used as a nutrient-rich soil for growing plants or crops. In fact, no additional fertilizer is needed because all of the essential minerals are already there, which makes it cost-effective too. No need to buy fertilizer anymore. And the best part is there's no methane produced, which means it's good for plants and the planet. If all of the food waste in the world was composted instead of being put in a landfill, the amount of greenhouse gas emissions that would be prevented would be the equivalent of taking over 2 billion cars off the road for one year. We are already making progress. Recycling and composting prevented 85.1 million tons of material from being disposed of in landfills in 2010, which also prevented approximately 186 million metric tons of carbon dioxide from being released into the air. And composting isn't the only way to eliminate food waste in landfills. You can also try to save food instead of throwing it out. An average family of four currently tosses out about $950 per year just in meats, fruits, vegetables, and grains. This is your chance to save some money, and the planet. There are over 2,000 commercial composting facilities in the United States right now where you can arrange to drop off food waste or you can compost yourself. What are you waiting for? Start composting today. Your garden and your planet will thank you. Just think, if all schools everywhere started composting, that simple action will help make a big difference. Most people have no idea how such a simple action can make such a positive difference. And of course, composting at home has a lot of benefits.